good morning again everyone it's a Wednesday and I'm doing a little midweek walk I'm joined by the lovely Candice she's on the other side of the road we're in Hertfordshire today to be precise we're in Stansted Abbots so it's from the book once again this one is an eight mile walk we're just approaching the church here at Stansted Abbots. The weather is a bit, a bit overcast at the moment. It's kind of, I don't know really, it feels like it's going to rain. We've got rain jackets and stuff just in case. Some uh, nice little cottages here and stuff. Yeah, should be fun, I'm looking forward to it. You know what I'm going to say? <laughs> Enough talking, let's get walking. Stansted Abbots is a fertile area bordered on three sides by the River Stalt, the River Lee and the River Ash. Beans, barley and wheat grow in the London clay soil in vast fields and there are superb views for almost the entire walk. During the Middle Ages the county of Hertfordshire was heavily forested. Charcoal production became popular and lasted until the end of the 18th century after which barley took over. Being so close to the navigable River Lee, the fertile growing areas meant that the town was ideally placed to transport the grain to London's breweries. Pack horses also played a role as they were used to move it to the local malting towns of Hartford and Ware. Today just one malting, French and Dupes, remains in Stansted Abbots. In the 19th century, the Buxton family commissioned architect Alfred Waterhouse to build them a home in Stansted Abbots. Waterhouse designed Manchester Town Hall as well as London's Natural History Museum. The result was an impressive mansion where the family lived until the 1950s. In this time, the house had many uses. During and after World War II, it became an orphanage and was later used as a location for the film Blue Murder at St Trinian's in 1957. The Buxtons were Christians and Sir Thomas Falwell Buxton was a man of great integrity and social conscience. When the ailing William Wilberforce left him to oversee the Emancipation of Slaves Bill he played an important part in the Abolition of Slavery Act, 1833. He was brother-in-law to Elizabeth Fry, the penal reformer, and both of them were commemorated on the back of the English £5 note. The Buxton family also paid for the erection of St Andrew's Church in Capel Lane, when 12th century St James, located a mile away at Stansted Berry, was thought to be too far from the town centre. Fittingly, the house is now a college for missionaries and is the largest of its kind in Europe. The missionary college is located in Easenai Wood. Spare a thought for the Anglo-Saxons at Easenai Wood. According to archaeological records, this ancient wood is home to a burial mound containing around 500 bodies. Trees were planted here to prevent further excavations.
going to stop here and have some lunch which is going to consist of a USMRE so we'll crack that out we'll show you what that's all about give it a taste I'm looking forward to it I'm starving right we've uh, got ourselves sorted I've got my little OEX chair out <laughs> it's so comfy right so for lunch today we've got this USMRE it's menu 18 which is beef ravioli in meat sauce sounds pretty good we have our little accessory packet which has got some standard MRE tissue paper in it again we've got two pieces of gum moist towelette a wet wipe <laughs> wet nap whatever you want to call it a little sachet of hot sauce which I guess goes with the ravioli salt we've got some instant coffee genial mm -hmm. Then we've got some zero calorie sweetener, we've got some non dairy creamer as well. We've got our typical US MRI, MRE spork, nice and sturdy, these they're pretty good. Some cheese spread, beverage base powder, orange, beef snack strip, so I guess that could be like beef jerky, something like that. Chocolate banana nut muffin top, that sounds pretty good. That's like our dessert. We've got some white wheat snack bread that's to go with that cheese spread cardboard sleeve for our main a beverage uh, bag which I'm gonna probably try out today I'll use the uh, I'll mix that orange beverage powder up in we've got our flameless ration heater or FRH for our main meal as I say which is our beef ravioli enough yakking let's get snacking <laughs> Right, we've mixed up the orange drink and we've got it in this orange flavoured boost bottle as well. Faint orange smell to it. It's alright. It's not bad. Very weak. It's probably not the best one. Do you want to try a little bit? It doesn't taste like it's got a lot of sugar in it, so you might be alright. Tastes like Nat's piss. Nat's piss. Nat's piss. <laughs> Candy says it smells like... So yeah, the FRH is still cooking up the main meal. Um, put the cardboard sleeve on it. So we've got our coffee in, in there, the instant coffee. It's not a lot in there, so it could be quite weak. Just boiling up some water on the BCB solid fuel stove at the moment. Right, so let's try out this beef snack strip. Ball's original beef stick. <laughs> chunked and formed this is the honestly <laughs> the amount of double entendres there balls original beef stick chunked and formed i'll say it again do you want a bit of my beef stick you're not answering that i'm not quite sure at the moment <laughs> oh a very faint smell like beef jerky? Yeah, it's basically beef jerky or a bit like pepper army, something like that. I'm trying not to set light to my leg at the moment. It's not bad. If you like that sort of thing, beef jerky, pepper army, that sort of stuff, you'll love this. It's not bad actually. We're still just waiting on the coffee to boil, but it's time to get the main out, the beef ravioli. Now, this is probably something you'll never ever see again on Tom Outdoors, well, apart from maybe with the rat packs. A mess tin is just a bit too bulky for me but this is from when I used to go to like music festivals and stuff so yeah I wouldn't normally use these try and go a bit lighter a bit more compact but they work for Rat Pack reviews oh, that smells good there we go oh, that smells so nice and there we go. Look at that. Looks decent. <laughs> right, let's have a try. Really thick, like bits of like beef and stuff. It's just you're licking your lips and <laughs> you? you're starving. You're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bless you. That's really nice. Mm. I have one more bit and then. I won't give her any. <laughs> oh, cool. It's not hot that. A, a slight spiciness to it. I've got. 
It's good, yeah? Anything else to say on it? Oh, it's good. It's just good. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, you're so easily pleased. <laughs> it's a little bit dry and thick, it's not like a... Saucy. It's not very saucy, no. No, not very saucy. We uh, we finished that ravioli off pretty quick. I'm just washing the mess tin up now, and the water finally boiled or near enough boiled anyway for the coffee, the instant coffee. It's got a very pale colour to it, and the non-dairy creamer doesn't look like it's mixing too well. Excuse me. Oh, we both said all this MRE stuff and like. Rat packs both give us like hiccups and a lot mm. of wind and stuff. I think it's the stuff they put in it, but yeah, the creamer seems to be settling on top quite a bit. You probably can't see that. Should be alright to drink. <laughs> We've got some white wheat snack bread and some cheese spread, so let's have that next. See what that's like. We probably could have had the ravioli with this, poured a bit on it and stuff like that, but I just thought, ah, I can't be bothered. There we go. It's just like one slice, it looks a bit sad, doesn't it? It's like when you ask a child, draw a piece of bread and they <laughs> draw it like that. Let's knead our cheese a bit. Yeah, knead your cheese. Real dark orangey taste. Her face is like, her face is like that looks disgusting. I'm used to eating this crap. It's going to be really buttery and salty, this stuff. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Do you want any of this? No. No? <laughs> Did I need to ask that? The only thing I think it could do with is <laughs> is maybe like two bits of bread because then you could sort of make a sandwich as well if you wanted. I ain't gonna say what that looks like though. What's it look like? You won't eat it. It's well, like when you um, burst in the spot. It does actually, it does, yeah. <laughs> Yummy! Ah. Yeah, definitely. Cheers for that. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your food, Tom. Oh, it's like popping zits. Oh. <laughs> it's like pus, pus on toast or something, or like. Oh. That looks rank. <laughs> Tastes like pus as well. Now it's very buttery, very salty. It's just like the UK one, but at least that spreads better. Bon appetit. <laughs> pus sandwich. <laughs> you may laugh. It's not that bad actually. I quite like that. I mean, I've lowered my standards now to accept any food from MREs, but, um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you can't stop laughing and the camera's shaking. I don't think it's too bad. It's all right. I mean, I'm not expecting it to be like Cathedral City or anything. <laughs> Anyways, right, we'll get back to you in a bit. She can't stop laughing. We just tried out this coffee. And Candice, who's a coffee drinker, hates it. Mm -hmm. Is it the worst coffee you've ever had? Yeah, her face was an absolute picture. It was just, she sort of sitting and just went... <laughs> <laughs> it's like she was going to cry though as well. <laughs> it's not sweet at all or anything. You can hardly taste the creamer. It's a little bit bitter, I think. But yeah, it's <clears throat> it's not great. Tell you what though, it makes this, uh, this zits on bread taste absolutely brilliant though when you think about it it's a lot better than the coffee i think i'd really take my chance on starvation <laughs> <laughs> much finished everything else off we've just got the gum the wet napkin and we've got this so this is the chocolate banana nut muffin top oh it's broken up a little bit inside this gun pack is stuck to it Oh, that's... It just looks like a giant pancake, really. It's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. Look at that face. It's like... Meh. Oh. 
That and the ravioli are probably the two best things in the in the pack, without a doubt. Want to try a bit? <laughs> I was just like, oh, do you want to try a bit? No, I was just like, do you want to try That's good. It's good, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's blinding. Does it taste very sugary or? I don't taste I've got no sugar in whatsoever. No, that might be quite good for you then. Of course, Candice is diabetic, <coughs> I've mentioned that before in a couple of previous videos, so we just have to be careful. Yeah. That's really nice. And that would go really well with the coffee as well. I dunk it in the coffee. That's quite good. If you mix these two together, if you wet them to or drunk them together, it worked really well. The chewing gum. So there we go, just two bits of gum. And finally, it's time for the refreshing moist towelette. Latex free. A very strong napkin sized towel. It's saturated with a cleansing lotion. It's been a uh, good little menu, this. I've liked it. Um, there's been a, a few things you could see they could work on, like improve on, like the coffee. Jeez. The beverage powder wasn't bad. The orange is maybe being a little bit sweeter or a bit stronger. The bread was actually quite nice, that white bread. The cheese spread could have been a bit more spreadable. The beef ravioli was absolutely mm. gorgeous. Chocolate, banana, nut, muffin top was brilliant. Like that and the ravioli, those were the best bits about it, without a doubt. So, anyways, yeah, that has been US MRE menu number 18 beef ravioli in meat sauce. Welcome back everyone. We've arrived back in Stansted Abbots outside the Red Lion pub. I nearly forgot what it was called. It was a good walk, it was nice. The MRE was pretty decent as well. I got head off to work now and dropped Candice back off at the station. Um, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one. You'll see us again soon. Bye!